You don't have these kind of problems at Linear, do you? Don't really know how I'm going to get out of this one. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh Jesus! <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal lake. Gin clear, top to bottom weed, tunnels through the weed everywhere. Just to catch one from here, I think, after the dramas would be amazing. I've done all I can, the rest is down to them. <sighs> Drifting. Get in. Redemption. That is what you come to lakes like this for. No. No, no. Sun's back out, calf in the net. Get barbecue fired up, eh? After a lovely, quiet, much needed sleep, uh, headed back round to Stefan's for, um, for fresh coffee and some more pastries and to pick up my trashed waders and my nice, fresh, clean clothes that Vanessa had really kindly ironed and prepped for me. And then headed off to the next venue. It wasn't long before we were heading down a bumpy track into what was clearly a very different location to the first one. Um, little did I know that we were just about to encounter the first of a couple of problems that day. Well, so far as we're getting down that road, that was problem one. Uh, problem two now is basically stuck in a track that I don't think I can reverse around. Um, didn't see the dirty great big stump. Smash my whole bumper. Uh, so yeah, nothing like um, nothing like a bit of an adventure, eh? <laughs> Don't really know how I'm going to get out of this one. I think the only option is boot it and hope for the best. But I mean, it, it wouldn't be a French trip, would it, without at least one puncher or being stuck at some point? So half of the course, I guess. Yeah, that's absolutely not working whatsoever, is it? I think that was, that must have been the first, I guess that was my first attempt when I've stoved it into the back there. But you can't turn because of the depth of the rock, can you? The rot just keep, is keeping the front wheel in it. I actually bought some all-terrain tyres for this kind of shit as well. They've done me nothing. You don't have these kind of problems at Linear, do Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> is, that, is that the whole bumper? We're out though. <laughs> well, it's, as, it's as fine as you get in these kind of situations. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. Look, <laughs> look at this side. What do you mean? Look at this side! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say we're out, mate. <laughs> no, we're definitely not out, Rich. Well, we're out. I didn't think we were getting out, mate. Oh, it's fine. These things only clip on anyway, don't they? <laughs> Powered by Panashock currently. It's gonna, it's gonna stay there, isn't it? Once I got the van out, uh, albeit not quite in one piece, but out at least, 
I headed round to one of the more accessible points to get the boat out and go and see if we could find some carp and some spots. Phenomenal, phenomenal lake. So beautiful. Gin clear, you can see the bottom over, over pretty much 100% of it, of what I've seen so far. Top to bottom weed, tunnels through the weed everywhere, little spots dotted here and there. Loads of spots out there, like sandy ones and that. Some dotted with little bits of clean stone and stuff in the bottom. Big reedy bays, massive dense sets of snags. You could put 20, 30 rods off this point um, and a couple of the other spots as well. Just so much to choose from. Um, had a really good look in a couple of the shallower bays with the reeds where I'd imagine they'd stack in in the spring. Like I imagine usually by this time, they're getting ready for spawning or, or almost even having spawned already. Um, but not this year, definitely. I reckon we're like a month behind at least. So yeah, those shallower bays, to be honest, look devoid. If they were in there, 99.9% .9 sure that I would have seen them. Plenty of spots, but none of them look like they've been turned over. Did see a couple of spots that did look like they'd been freshly turned over though, just sort of amongst larger, older spots that were still covered in a bit of sediment and, and silt and stuff. There was a few little freshly turned areas, little bits of gleaming stone dotted in the bottom. Deeper water off the front of big sets of snags. Um, they look amazing. And given how moody the weather is, sort of like gusting to 35 mile an hour southwesterly tomorrow, I also do like the look of the middle. Um, probably going to have to go on a hunch, I reckon, for today, realistically. Technically, it's going to be really difficult getting rods out. Still got a lot of work to do. Going to have to switch my kit over. I've got to put braid on. It's going to be big leads, heavy fluoro leaders, all that kind of stuff. So still got a lot of work to do to kind of switch all that over. And I think also need to get to another point of the lake as well. So going to wrap this stuff up here. I don't think this is the one. I feel like over there and them snags is possibly going to be the one maybe off the back of the wind. So, and that's where I've seen the most of anything, really. I reckon probably gonna have to go off a hunch and that. So yeah, get wrapped up and get around to the other side, I reckon. Probably an absolutely incredible swim. Generally at night nor in normal months at the end of May, but right now, I don't know. No, I, th I think the wind is going to be a little bit more over. I think it's going to be coming into us, but I think it's, it'll be protected from, the spots will be protected. So yeah, it's going to be 35 mile an hour west southwest tomorrow, which directly over those snags and trees over our heads. To be fair, it probably won't even really touch this bay. It does look amazing. A couple that I think were cut up, that I spooked in the weed were out there. Can't fish the open water at all though. Just mega limited. Yeah, got like gust into 36, 37 mile an hour tomorrow and Saturday. It'd be like 100% if it was like 18, 20 degrees, and nice and calm. Like I put, I bet my life on them being stacked in here. Don't think they're stacked in here. Um, you only need a few to get a bite though, I suppose, don't you? Fishing blind into the middle feels like just a bit of a gamble, really, until you've seen anything out there. If we could see them showing like tomorrow morning, then that's a different, different ball game. But just blindly out there, don't know. As I find is so often the case, I was really torn about which area I wanted to settle in. Um, I debated for ages, weighing up all the options, the weather, what each area offered. Um, in the end, I decided to go for the longer walk. Um, but the swim that did give me more options. Yes, yeah, this was just a much better vantage and access point. At least you can see the open from here as well. It just feels like a much better bit of water to have in front of you. I also feel like getting set up tomorrow in a move in big winds, trying to find tiny spots is going to be a massive drama. I hate being pinned in a little corner without many options, unless it's clearly full of carp and then obviously that's a different ball game, but you can still fish that from here. It's just a bit of a trek with a kit, that's the only thing. Can't get the motor in here because of the trees. So I think it's just going to have to be a walk down. Ferry a bit of kit in the boat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it.
feels just feels like it could be the mere. Definitely don't feel like we're where we are, that's for sure. And it is a million miles away from where we were yesterday. What a buzz though. To catch one from here would be incredible. Definitely feels like the right decision. After I'm terrible anyway, can be really indecisive picking a swim anyway, but um, definitely feel feels good now. I'm here with the kit, just feels right. Definitely feels like the right area to be in. Definitely mono is coming off though, and we're getting some braid on there. To be fair, if you would like lobster potting down to your rig, floor is going to sit better, isn't it? Having no experience of the venue uh, and not really knowing anything about it particularly, I wasn't sure if there was any problems with craze or pass on shout or anything like that in there. So I just went for big double tiger hook baits that I knew would withstand pretty much anything um, and big, strong, tough gear as well. Braid, through to real heavy mono leaders, big hooks, big strong hook links, um, stuff that I trusted 100% and I knew would cope with what was clearly really tough conditions out there in front of me. With all four prepped and ready meticulously, um, I headed out to find some spots. Thankfully, the first one went in beautifully. First one set. Don't think. In honesty, that could have gone any better. Um, after feeling like it was all going to be a bit of a drama, that's gone in, gone in beautifully. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I spooked a couple more in the weed, like 10, 15 yards back from the spot as well, just on the way out. Thankfully, just, just kind of cruising through slowly on the oars as well. So hopefully, not spooking too much. But the spot looks amazing out there. The, the, the sort of there actually isn't that many spots out there. It looks like there's going to be, but actually when you look, start looking through the scope, the majority of it is just, um, it's just solid weed. It looks like there's holes in it everywhere, but there actually isn't. Um, but yeah, beautiful little notch in the weed. Lovely little silty spot. Can't be any bigger than that, probably, just off the front of the snag. Um, looks like it's been turned over. That's getting the tiger nut, bit of crumb. Watched the rig lay out perfectly through the scope as well. So. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't possibly be any happier with that. If there's, if there's fish out there around there tonight and they feed, that's, yeah, it's got to be with a shout, definitely. Well, I've just got to find another three like that and then we'll be happy. Oh, I think from memory, there were some mega looking spots in front of these pads. Yeah, big spot there, but. <clears throat> that looks blatant. Do you know what? I think, in all probability, because of how cold the weather's been, yeah, there is a few little clean spots there as well. I reckon because the weather's still been so cold, I reckon they probably just haven't got into these spots really yet. It's probably still just a little bit early for it. You got there, five foot. <laughs> the shell down there as well. It looks a little bit cleaner. Mega spot, definitely a bit less blatant than the others. 